Hi everybody, Steve Bull here with another episode of Mercury Live from the Miami International Boat Show. Joined this time by Jim Herger to talk about electrification. Jim, thanks for joining us here. Good to be here, Steve. So Jim, we're here at the Miami Show, lots of exciting stuff going on. Mercury's been around a long time, but we're talking about something new, electric propulsion, electric outboards. Why was this important for Mercury to get into? Yeah, the main reason revolved around innovation and sustainability. Continuous innovation is foundational for Mercury and Avatar represents the next evolution of our marine industry leadership. And uh, the program was really, uh, it was very inspirational. It's inspired us to set a new benchmark in electric propulsion and to create the best user experience through premium quality, design, and advanced engineering. Uh, there's some attributes like low noise, um, low vibration, ease of use, simple maintenance, digital connectivity that separates gas outboards from electric outboards. And that really makes it very distinctive and unique, creating that two uh, platform strategy. And they look cool too. They've got the distinctive mercury lines, which I love and the industry loves. You see them everywhere. Uh, so it looks somewhat similar, but obviously the inside is different. What, how does this compare to a, a traditional gas outboard? Yeah, so electric outboards and gas outboards are similar in a lot of ways. Uh, they both come in tiller handle and remote control configurations to match boat types. They tilt the same, uh, they install the same, but the electrical architecture allows us to take certain attributes to a whole nother level. For example, exhaust and transmitted vibration are gone. Uh, noise is reduced to a whisper. And for the first time, you can have digital connectivity in a low horsepower outboard. And that's just very appealing to a lot of boaters. Definitely, and so I will admit I know very little about <laughs> electrification and batteries, but what I do know comes largely from you know dealing with the, the things around my house and my kids' toys, and there's some where I've got to plug in his RC car. The whole thing has to be plugged in and, and we can't use it. Yeah. Um, how does this work? Is this, uh, you know, we've got to plug in the outboard and then wait till it charges to, to go out again? Yeah, we are leveraging um, an advanced rechargeable lithium ion battery. And the battery is integrated to, uh, with the outboard in this concept. And uh, you don't require, you don't have to have any cable connections, manual cable connections or anything like competitive product. You just drop it in, close the lid, and you're ready to go. And that battery does require recharging. Yeah. So when the charge does run low, you do need to plug it in to a conventional wall well, you, socket. You, you take it right out. Like the batteries can be replaced. You yeah. can have a couple and swap them through. Yep, oh, exactly. You could charge up two batteries, have one in when that runs low, put the new one in. Um, or, you know, you can just charge it up if you've got one battery and, um, you know, run when it's ready. I like that. So you don't have to stop your boating fun and charge the whole motor. It's the batteries, and I love that it's simple. It's Steve proof. We can yeah. just pull it out and drop it in, right? Yeah, yeah. There's no tricks here. I don't have to do any wiring because I'm terrible at this. <laughs> nope, it's simple. Drop it in and go. I love <laughs> it. Thank you on behalf of me and everyone else like me. You've made it accessible for us. All right. So one of the great things, Jim, about the Miami show is being able to see new products, new concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, this is the first time I've laid eyes on this and most of the public, I'm sure, is the same way. What's the reaction been? What are you hearing? Yeah, the buzz has been phenomenal. A lot of excitement around it. It's the unveiling of our first concept of an electric outboard. So it's really, um, uh, revolutionary for us, right? Because this is the beginning of a new type of outboard that we're going to be um, expanding on and growing in terms of a portfolio for years to come. So uh, it's it's just really exciting to uh, to be at this point. I bet. And you mentioned the portfolio is going to expand, and there's you know this is going to be the wave of the future. But in the short term, what kind of boats, what kind of applications do you envision this uh, Avatar concept on? Yeah, the early adopters for electric propulsion. Um, have really been centered around the sailing community. Uh, so sailors would use a, a small electric outboards for uh, main power on smaller sailboats to help them navigate their boat when the wind dies down or in tight uh, places, maneuvering around um, docks or something like that. And then you've got uh, another group of yachters that will put um, electric outboard on a tender that's part of a much larger boat to go from a mooring to shore and back. 
Um, so those are the early adopters. They really like the fact that it's uh, sustainable type energy, um, eco-friendly, and um, they've really gravitated toward it. But recently, we found that there's a lot of people that have aluminum boats and um, fiberglass boats that really want that quiet operation when they go fishing or if they just want to go for a short cruise. I like it. And as you said, just this is just the start of it. There's going to be a lot more. This is going to be expanding and growing. I'm excited to see it because, you know, innovation is cool. I may not know anything about it, but I like boating and this is going to be a way to get out there quietly. Yeah. So Jim, this Avatar concept, I've never seen it before, it's new, it's right here at the Mercury booth at Miami, but what can you tell me about the concept as a whole? Yeah, the concept, the initial concept we're showing today, uh, really provides a sense of what we think an electric outboard should be, and uh, it's really representative of a broader portfolio of products that we're developing and will release the end of this year and next year. Um, I, you know, I can say a tremendous amount of market research went into um, the development of this innovative product to create the best user experience from setup, operation, and, and storage. And uh, some of the features we think that are really going to resonate with consumers are the battery. Uh, the battery is integrated with the motor on top. Um, the big advanced display that's very easy to use and to read. Uh, the uh, tiller handle, highly featured with tilt functions to make it really comfortable to use the product. And um, lastly, you know, the digital connectivity. Um, we just really think that these, this is going to resonate with the consumers and uh, really love it. Jim, I uh, at once am envious of your position to be able to work on something like this and also glad I am not because Mercury's been around a long time. The bar of expectations from the consumer is high, so even though it's something new that hasn't been done, it's got to be to that Mercury standard. So that's got to be a, 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 tough, a tough bar to meet, but it uh, looks like you guys are doing it. Yep, we're very, very excited about it. Excellent. Well, Jim, thanks for joining us here. It's a pleasure. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll let you get back to the show. Enjoy it. Everyone that is able to come here to the Miami International Boat Show, you can see the Avatar concept in the Mercury booth. And of course, if you're not able to make it, check out mercurymarine.com. Lots more information there. And we'll see you right here on Mercury Live. We have more episodes coming all week during this show.